Hello, my name is Jenny McElwain and I'm a professor of botany in the School of Natural Sciences in Trinity College. And we're here in Parliament Square in this wonderful 429 year old university. And we've designed a new course, myself and my colleague, Professor Lawrence Gill in engineering. And it's called Environmental Science and Engineering. And our aim with this course is to impart the skills and the knowledge on our graduates so they'll have the multifaceted ability and skill set to address some of the world's most complex and challenging problems. So I'm talking about things like climate change, adaptation and mitigation of climate change. Um, how do we reach zero carbon? How do we transition from fossil fuel to renewable energies? And how do we do all of that while also taking account of the importance of biodiversity, the conservation of biodiversity, and understanding the complexity and ecology of the natural world. We believe there is a need for this new course, which mixes the expertise in the schools of natural sciences and engineering to be able to tackle these global challenges. For these challenges, they are inherently multidisciplinary, and there's a need to, first of all, understand the basic science of the natural environment, which in itself is incredibly complex. Um, but then, as we're talking about so challenges, that we need solutions to these challenges. And what is this we specialize in, in, in engineering is problem-based learning skills uh, and approaches to uh, solving such problems. Our hope is that graduates from this new course will have a deep understanding and more importantly a deep appreciation for the natural world, the ecological interactions, biodiversity and that when they go out into the world and design new solutions for renewable energy or new wastewater treatment plants or um, systems that will combat and mitigate climate change or pollution on the landscape, that any design or any solution they develop will take into account the natural world and that their solutions will not have unintended consequences. And because our global challenges are, are so complex, we need graduates of the future to have these multidisciplinary skills where they understand um, problems and solutions from both perspective of the scientist and the engineer. So this is what is really unique about this new course and this we hope is what will make a difference um, in the future in addressing some of these grand challenges. In the fourth year the students on the environmental science and engineering course have the exciting opportunity in the second semester to undertake an internship. This is something that we've been doing in the School of Engineering for many years and we have long-standing relationships with engineering companies, local authorities, etc. So for this course the, the students will be working either in an environmental science or an environmental engineering capacity in an environmental consultancy, a large-scale engineering company, may, maybe a, a local authority like, such as the EPA or Irish Water, so it's something along those lines to get re real world experience of um, the, the, the type of jobs that they may, may go into late, later when they leave college. The Earth's precious resources are finite. We have to use the resources sustainably. And we want our graduates from this course to have a deep awareness and appreciation for the natural world and that they will design and develop solutions to combat some of our major environmental challenges, which take into account the fact that we're running out of these resources and we need to use them cleverly and carefully and appreciate them.